to uh, Odessa, Texas slash Crane, Texas uh, for my Uncle Jim Bug's birthday. You know, I haven't been to West Texas in that area in over 12 years um, because, um, you know, I got family out there, but it's, it's, it's not a lot that draws me out there. You know, um, it's a great place. Uh, I grew up there, you know, did a lot of hunting and you know, growing up in, in, in Odessa and Midland and Crane, but it's just not a lot for Vaughn Miller to do. So. You know, I'm going out there to visit my Uncle Junebug, one of my favorite uncles in my, in my, in my whole entire life. I love my Uncle Junebug, and he wanted me to come to his birthday party, so I'm coming. Ain't the same one we used to be done. No? Crane? Yeah. This football team? Oh, you see the whole goddamn town. For real? You see that baby? That's why everybody know this? Yeah. My family in Crane um, is on my mom's side of the family. My uh, grandmother's uh, brothers and sisters, they still live in Crane. And my grandmother's mother, she lived in, in Crane as well. So I got a lot of family out there and it's so small. It's one of the smallest cities in West Texas. You know, super, super small, super, super close knit. Everybody knows everybody. It's got one stoplight. I think it's got two stoplights now. And it's just super duper small. You got to drive to Odessa to really do anything. You know, that's your nearest Walmart. That's your nearest Target. It's your nearest uh, ATB. And um, yeah, you got to drive 35 minutes out, you know, 35 minutes back. You know, it's going to take you at least three hours to get all that done. But it's all cool though. You know, Crane is, uh, is, is super small. And it's just your all-American city. You know, I wanted to go to Crane. I wanted to live in Crane when I was younger. That's how much I loved it, man. So to be back in, in, in Crane and see all my family and my cousins and stuff is super cool. Vaughn Miller, we're in Crane, Texas. We're going rabbit hunting for my Uncle Junebug's birthday. It's Trey's dad. Yeah, we just, you know, out here. My environment is dope to be. I haven't been out here in like 12 to 14 years, and this is where I grew up. This is my favorite place to be. You know, I love coming out here with my, my cousins and my little brother and, and everybody just spending time in the pastures, playing a game, and just living a country life, man. That's, that's where it all started for me. So. Just uh, have a day in, in Crane, you know? You just house when it's done, that's where we at. Yeah, I love the rabbit hunt. I've been rabbit hunting, you know, um, my whole entire life. You know, as well as fishing, as well as whitetail and, and quail. And, and all type of things, but this is one of the things that me and my dad and my brother share. Yeah, I mean, rabbit hunting is fun because it's supposed to be fast. It's supposed to be, you know, action packed. It's supposed to be, you know, you see a, a cottontail rabbit or a jackrabbit every five seconds, but this particular day, we didn't see much. We didn't see any. And um, I think we saw one, we were able to get one. First rabbit I've seen all day, clap, clap. Um, but for the most part, you know, you're supposed to at least bring in like 30, 40 rabbits a day, and we only saw like three rabbits the whole day. And so it was slow. It was one of those slow hunting days. But the thing about hunting is, it's not all the way. It's not always about like what you can harvest or what you can bring in. It's about spending quality time with your family, spending quality time with your friends, chilling with my with my dad, my brother, and my cousin Trey. You know, I haven't been able to do that in a long time, but it was super cool to be able to be out there in the middle of the desert, you know, just hanging with these guys. I visited my grandmother's um, gravesite in Crane. She was uh, buried in Crane in 2001, and it's been like uh, at least 12 years since I've been there, so it was good to go see my grandma I love. My grandmother dearly. Um, I always talked to her about going to the NFL and going to the league. And she always believed in my dream. And she always motivated me and, and, and molded me and, and kind of, you know, groomed me to to just to be great. And she saw greatness in me from the very very get go. And, you know, um, she died in 2001 from, from breast cancer. And my my family we we always have a a, a soft spot for anything cancer related. Um, 
I, I, we know about it, we've experienced it, we've dealt with it. And um, it was just great to go back to my grandmother's grave site and see all my uncles and my cousin, because everybody there is our family. Everybody there in this grave site, they all know each other and they are related in some way. And it was good to see all of my uncles and my grandfather and you know, all the people that had passed away and just, just go share a moment and reminisce on how um, great that they lived their lives and, and how missed they truly are. Yeah, partying with my Uncle Junebug is a blast. You know, he's crazy. He's, he's the wildest, one of the wildest family members that we got. Just partying with my Uncle Junebug and all my other uncles is it's so great. And you can really appreciate it as you get older. Now that I can drink and hang out and gamble and do all the fun shit with him. Like, it's so much fun. Look at him. Yeah, look at him. <laughs> it's, it's so much fun just hanging out, staying up late and just just drinking and shooting the shit, laughing and giggling and making fun of each other, man. What's that, man? <laughs> you can see these uh these 50 50 year old, 60 year old men turn into 15 year old uh, teenagers, just laughing and giggling, man. It's dope to be a part of it with my dad and my uncle Junebug. My, my uncle Junebug, he has a ridiculous smoker. Let the beast, <laughs> let the beast rest. That's yeah. that's one thing that we doing on, on my side of the family. Cause we gonna cook, we gonna barbecue some shit, man. We got ribs here, jalapeno tacos there. Don't got this, don't got this is just the chicken coming out right they, they barbecue their ass off, and it was just a great time to eat the barbecue and just hang out with my little bug in West Texas. And I told him, all I want is you here, and that's enough for me. And that's all I want from you. I love you. You're the best. God bless you. God keep you. Do some <laughs> And Texas Tech. And ain't no Giga Maggie's bullshit. It's Texas Tech. And now.